Usually when you see me in night vision mode, that usually means that we're going to be shooting some rats. But this is a different type of rat. This rat has wings. We're going to be controlling some feral pigeons. Thought I'd try something a little bit different. Come during the darkness. I'm hoping they might be a little bit more settled. Might not know what's going on. So we're just going to go get straight to it and hopefully we'll be able to bag a few. Now that I'm fully loaded up, all these pigeons are sitting up on top of the rafters, so I'm getting myself into a comfortable position, very steep angle, going to see if we can get a few down. Certainly can't complain with a start like that. Let's hope this keeps going. Three down. Simply switching to the other side of this unit, going into the opposite corner. Again, get myself comfortable on this big pile of dirt. It's nice and soft. Just gotta twist my body a little bit just to get comfortable to try get some more down. For this shot there's a pigeon which is in a really awkward position so I've got to get high up but wait a minute did you just see that watch very closely yep there goes the grip for my Primo's trigger sticks but I'll have to do without it for now as I'm still trying to find this bird I'm trying to get high enough so I can get the crosshairs onto it so I have to climb up on top of this dirt just into a comfortable position now. And we get another cleanly taken down. Well, they're certainly not making it easy for me. Depending on the location of where these pigeons go, I've got to get myself into a twisted new position. So it looks as if I've got myself set up. There's two pigeons up here, so I'm hoping to get a double. So close. Got the first one, but I pulled the second one. Disappointed with that. I 
I managed to get that first one, but I missed that second one. Gutted about that. I should have had that one. That was just, that was a bad shot. That's what that was. But I'm sure there'll be some more. Now it's time to engage in a bit of mountaineering. Using my Primo's trigger sticks to actually climb to the top of this, I can see there is a head just popping out. So I've had to climb onto a different pile to get a really good high vantage point, just enough so I can just see its head. But I've got to time my trigger just right. I'm really happy with that shot. Had to climb to the top of that rubble, managed to get into good enough position to get that crosshair just above one of the beams, just so I can get that crosshair onto it. Time my shot perfectly and just shot it right into the head. Being that this room is completely pitch black, can't see a thing. So I'm using my head torch to go and find that last pigeon that I just shot in the head. As you can see, I'm on a bit of a mission trying to find it because I'm not quite sure where it's gone. I've climbed over this wall, I'm going behind it. Found it wedged between some bricks. I managed to squeeze and shimmy. I managed to drag it out. As you can tell from that noise, some pigeons are up on the rafters which have just flown in. There's around two or three which are flapping about, trying to find a place to perch. So now I've got to go find myself a suitable position to try and get onto them. And we'll see how that goes. Just the one this time, as the other one flew away. With all that's on offer, headshot required. Standing up and shooting off your sticks, you've just got to time the trigger pull just right. Well that turned out to be not a bad session, we've got a few down, I've got quite a few down in the last few weeks and coming at night this time, or at least when it's completely pitch black, they seem to be a little bit more settled and there does seem to be quite a few more or less which are now settling into this industrial unit. So yeah, it was quite a good choice coming at night. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this feral pigeon video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.